The third t coaching technique we're going to go over is called managing disruptive students. The purpose, the reason we're going to do this is so that you can learn some techniques to help keep students in the archery program that you might otherwise think wouldn't be willing to follow rules and, and the safety guidelines. Some of those students are in our minds right now. We're thinking those students break rules and, and they won't follow the safety and, and the rest of the class will be unsafe. Those are exactly the kind of students that do well in the archery class because they want to shoot bows and arrows so badly they'll follow the rules for the first time in their young lives. So we're going to go through a four-step process of how you can get those kinds of students to be part of the archery class. All right, the first one is going to be called repeat the rule. But I want you to step on the waiting line as if you were violating it. Every toe is supposed to be behind the waiting line before the whistle can be blown twice to get bow so that we can move forward. But I have somebody's toe on the waiting line like yours. I, first thing I'm going to do is simply repeat the rule because you may not know your toes on the waiting line. So I'm just going to say to the class, when everybody's toes are completely behind the waiting line, I'll blow the whistle twice and we can all get bows and shoot. And it'll usually work just like that but let's say that it didn't work. You're still stepping on the waiting line even after I repeated the rule. Now I have to get a little more firm. I'm going to now use peer pressure. When everybody's toes are completely behind the waiting line, and I may point to a student whose toes are behind the waiting line, just like this student's toes are behind the waiting line, and I'm going to look at you because you're offending the waiting line, we'll be able to shoot and shoot more often. And it worked. I used a little peer pressure. Now the students know it's you. It's not behind the waiting line. And they're going to be, hey, come on, we want to shoot. Or you may do it just because we focused attention on you. But sometimes it doesn't work. If peer pressure doesn't work, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use teamwork. I'm going to come up to you, and I'm going to say to you that I've got a lot of toes to watch here. We can shoot more and more often if we can get everybody's toes behind this waiting line. If you'll help me watch these toes and give me a signal, when everybody's toes, including yours, are behind the waiting line, I'll blow the whistle twice and we can shoot. What signal do you want to give me? Thumbs up? Okay, when you do that, I'm going to blow the whistle. All right, let's go ahead and step on the line. There you go. Okay, <laughs> now, okay, go ahead. All right, everybody's toes are behind the waiting line. I'm going to blow the whistle twice and we're going to get bow. What I did there is I used teamwork. The important part of teamwork is I let you pick the signal, but I was able to approve it. If I told you to do this, it'd be just another thing I'm telling you, but I let you pick the signal. And as long as it's an appropriate signal, I'll approve it and then we'll go on. Sometimes teamwork works. And some of the teachers sometimes will think that's a little too much effort, but that didn't take very long to do that. But let's say it didn't work. You're really meaning to be disruptive. Your toe is still on the waiting line and you give me the signal. Go ahead and give me that signal like, you know, everybody's okay, but still you aren't. Now I have to go to DEF CON 1. I have to remove or terminate your shooting privileges. And I'm going to come to you and I'm going to say, Gary, everybody's toes have to be behind this weight line before we can shoot. You're having a little trouble with this rule. So this time, everybody's going to shoot six arrows, but you're only going to shoot three. I'm going to reduce your shooting privileges until we get this waiting line rule figured out. So if you'll step behind there, I'll let you shoot three this time. Now, the important thing is that I stand by that penalty. Once you step behind, you're, the student will sometimes say, can I shoot all six now because my toes are behind the waiting line? You'll have to stand firm and say, nope. We took us a while to get you there. You're going to shoot this three this time, but the next time you come up here and follow the rule right, I'll restore all your shooting privileges. And sometimes that won't even work. They'll continue to stand on the waiting line because they don't want to be part of your archery class, and then you may have to dismiss them from the archery range. All right, you understand that? So try teamwork, or try repeating the rule, then peer pressure, then teamwork, before you begin removing shooting privileges. And you may just get a kid who's never behaved in school to finally behave and find out that it wasn't that bad, and they'll behave in other classes as well.